Dilly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Right, so yesterday I did a video on Sal Canal Alvarez becoming the franchise champion for the WBC. And within this video, I made mention that it wouldn't surprise me if Deontay Wilder becomes the franchise champion also. And I'll give you those reasons as this video goes along. Now, I did a video earlier on today, which will be uploaded tomorrow morning or Saturday, uh, depending on when you listen to this video, with a special guest who, will, who gave his opinion on this whole situation, who, just to give away a bit of a spoiler, agreed that it wouldn't surprise us if they did the same thing with Deontay Wilder. Now, of course, since I did that video, um... Obviously, it's gone around the circuit now, um, where I've seen on other people's videos and in the comment section and on some live streams, funny enough as well, that Sport and Icon said that Deontay Wilder will become the franchise champion. So just to clarify, I never said that Deontay Wilder will become the franchise champion. I said it wouldn't surprise me if they did that. And of course, today as well, um, I've seen Eddie Hearn on the IFL um, interview as well where he was asked about this, and obviously he's quite concerned that potentially this could happen. So again, just to clarify, I never said that Wilder will become the franchise champion. Listen, how the hell would I know? Okay, I don't have any kind of contact with uh, WBC. I did email the WBC. Um, I don't know whether or not I should say this, but I did email them um, yesterday. I wanted, I wanted Mauricio Suleiman on the channel, so I emailed his direct email, and as of right now, he hasn't responded. I'm going to guess that he hasn't seen it, but if you have seen it, it would be nice, me. So if you actually responded, it's just a little bit of courtesy, right? Anyway, it is what it is. So my reasons for why Deontay Wilder will become the franchise champion. Now, again, I don't know what the franchise champion is properly. I don't think anybody does. To be honest, I'm not even too sure if the WBC do, right? But the impression that I'm getting is a ambassador for the WBC. The fact that he has to turn up to a couple of events once in a while, but he's not the WBC champion. So should Canelo go fight Dimitris Andrade, whereas a couple of days ago, it would have been for Undisputed. Now it won't be. Because Jamal Charlo is a WBC champion. So, what I said was, will they make Deontay Wilder franchise champion? Because in my mind, they they don't want the Dillian White fight. Wilder don't want it. He's even sent Dillian White um, personal DM saying, I'm going to freeze you out for two years. The WBC seems to be in no kind of rush to force that fight. Um, Shelly Finkel is already saying, well, we don't care what anybody else is saying about Dillian White or any other opponent. Wilder will fight Ortiz next and then have back-to-back -back fights with Tyson Fury. So that should tell you that Shelly Finkel knows something that the rest of the boxing world don't know, right? Now, I have spoken with Dillian um, and um, he will be coming back on the channel real soon. But obviously, um, he wants clarity as to what's going on himself. Will the world title be on the line for him versus Oscar Rivas? So, of course, before he comes on the channel, he needs all that kind of clarity. Because obviously, th these are the kind of questions I'm going to ask him. And right now, he doesn't know the answer. Okay, so as soon as he gets the answers, of course, he'll come on. And then we've got something properly to talk about. Now, in my opinion, as I said, I don't think Mauricio Suleiman... Deontay Wilder or Team Wilder have any confidence in defeating Dillian White. And even if Wilder does, he knows fine well it's a very, very high risky fight. Which is why I believe that they may make him franchise champion so he can go fight Lewis Ortiz, Tyson Fury. He can go fight the Jason Gavins again of the world or, or, or Bermain Stavern. He can fight whoever he likes without any mandatory obligations. Because as, as I said before, he's only had two mandatories in four and a half years. The WBC rules are one mandatory every 12 months minimum. He hasn't been fulfilling that and he's been getting away with it. The fans have been noticing it, whether you're a Wilder fan or not. And I know already that the Wilder fans are probably getting a little bit butthurt already. This isn't the aim of it. Point is, is that these are the facts. Two managers, four and a half years. No excuses whatsoever. Yes, we know about some failed fights, but regardless, they could have rescheduled certain things. But that's my thinking that they will do this to allow Wilder to do whatever the hell he wants. So they may put the WBC heavyweight title on the line for Dillian White versus Oscar Rivas. But what we don't want them doing is having the interim title, as in the mandatory, for Dillian White, Oscar Rivas. And as an example, Dillian White wins that fight, becomes a mandatory. Then that WBC title becomes vacant because then they make Wilder the franchise champion after that fight. 
So therefore, Doom wants to go fight then somebody else to become the WBC champion. If they're going to do it, they need to do it ASAP. So the heavyweight title's on the line. Now, this is not ideal for Dinny White. This is not ideal for most people. Okay, listen, he's not going to complain if the, if the WBC heavyweight title's on the line. I'm not going to complain. Most of you guys won't complain either. But the fact is, Dinny White knows that a lot of people who don't like him will say, well, you're not really the heavyweight champion, Deontay Wilder is, because he never beat Deontay Wilder, even though that's not Dean White's fault. Much like Jamal Charlo. So if you guys have that same kind of energy, if they do do this with Wilder and Dean White, then you have to have that same energy when it comes to Jamal Charlo. And you have to say, well, he's not really the WPC middleweight champion because he never beat Canelo. Much like it's not Charlo's fault that he never fought Canelo. True? So anyway, listen, that's my thoughts on it all anyway. I mean, I don't know if they're going to make uh, Wilder franchise champion. It just seems like that's the kind of route that they would go down, just to avoid that fight with Dillian White. As I said, no guarantees that Dillian's going to beat Oscar Rivas. This is a very, very serious banana skin fight. Very serious. And I know Dillian White's taking it very, very serious as well. But as I said, he will be coming on the channel very, very soon. But obviously, we need a lot of clarity. Otherwise... It's going to be a case of, I don't know, I don't know, and yeah, I don't know, we're still waiting. Obviously, you guys want a lot more than that, and didn't want to tell you as much as he possibly can, but right now, he just doesn't know. So anyway, that's my thoughts and all. I do believe that they could make Deontay Wilder the franchise champion for those reasons I've given you, so he can go fight whoever the hell he wants without the fans having any room to complain because he's not champion. Therefore, he's no longer in the running for Undisputed. Which, let's be honest, he was never keen on Undisputed anyway. Especially when Joshua was champion. So, anyway. That's my thoughts. Of course, you drop me yours. Click thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.